So here's uh, part three of the videos for the assignments. This is exponential functions. Um, last but not least, um, we're gonna get right into it. So for the base, uh, I got fx equals um, two to the power of x. And then for my transformation, I did gx equals two x to the negative one plus three. <laughs> and uh, that means there's a horizontal shift by one and a vertical shift by three. Um, yeah, the shift is to the right, by the way, for the horizontal. Anyways, um, quick look at the charts. We have um, negative three on the x side, negative three, negative one, uh, zero, one, and three. And that leaves us with one over eight, which will, I didn't, I wasn't sure if you wanted the fractions or just the numbers, so I did them both here. Um, but you get the point of it. Notice how the denominator is the same over here once they get into positives. So yeah, so one over eight equals 0 0.125, one over two, equals 0 0.5, which is half, obviously. One, two, and eight. Now for the transformed one, this one was a little different because the way this works is how you'll have your negative two and then you add that vertical shift onto it each time. So it's similar over here. So two uh, plus three equals one over four plus three, since the power to negative two equals 3.25. Then vice versa, so three uh, negative one plus three equals half plus three equals 3.5. Uh, two to the power of zero, obviously, plus three just equals one. Um, negative two, sorry. Uh, plus three um, equals four. Two to the power of one plus three equals two plus three and five, and then two to the power of three plus three equals 11. So I guess pretty straightforward after you get past those negatives. You don't get in the fractions. Uh, yeah, anyways, how does that affect the domain and range? Uh, so it does affect it in a way um, not for the base, uh, or do, uh, domains because the domains are just any real number um, for both of them, the um, transformed exponential fun function and the uh, base function. I keep on thinking I'm going to say fraction. Anyways, um, it does affect the range on the transfer uh, transformed one though um, because um, the, ra um, the range is um, any real numbers greater than three because there's a vertical shift uh, by three, similar to the quadratics uh, that I talked about in the first video. Anyways, yeah, last but not least, the inverse. Um, so the inverse here, I made a little diagram to show you um, that, so you have g2 equals five. Um, the inverse would just be g uh, negative one to five would equals two. And I realized that was kind of cool here for my example is that it's almost in a mirror image, which was pretty cool. I tried keeping those videos pretty short, so that's just a quick breakdown of exponential functions, not fractions. <laughs> uh, and yeah, that's my last video, I think, maybe of the course. So yeah, hope it was a good one. <laughs> Cheers.